morning is hard. <sighs> Land of the free. <sighs> varnished that is coat three done it's felt like an absolute mission doing that room um but good that it's getting there the knee pads didn't work that great in the end the one that i used an eye mask to put on uh started cutting off my circulation towards the end so took those off but they worked for the time being and now i'm just snuggling with little mr cutie who's being very good uh, and I'm gonna wait for that to dry and let my food go down and then I'm gonna see if I can get on the track for my session today because it's a Saturday and sometimes it's difficult to get on the track but I just really want to go on the track and I've got mile reps so I'm gonna give Bracknell a call and see if the track is free so that I can go rip it up <laughs> to moan about the wind now okay it's cold and windy it's june I'm not happy this is not what i ordered oh the watch is suggesting a rest day yeah all right i'm going bye just gotta get my gps bye I'm not gonna lie, it's windy. Is that? Yeah, on that first bend. It's like a gale force winds. Is that what they're called? Yeah. A gale. A gale. A gale force. A gale force. Gale is out today with all of her force. I thought it was gonna be sunny. A penny for your thoughts. It's cold. <laughs> this is a lucky penny. This means I'm going to have a great session. Let's see what the year is. Day of birth. Wow, 1989. Pretty old. It's got a penny there. Yeah. It's got my list, eh? Put it there for the next round. I've got this one. Shoe change. But what's the session there? The sesh is, it's actually a short one. It's three by 1600 off of a lap jog. And we're aiming to hit 75s, which is five minute miling. So pretty short, as in pretty short of a session, but it's not even short, quick stuff. It's just a bit of 5K prep. So should be good. I'm looking forward to it. It's hard. 
running is hard. 503, so just a bit off, but it is windy. I kid you not. Uh, watch actually beeped for a mile at five minutes dead, but you always hit that before you get to the line, so it's fine. It's really tough in these kind of sessions that are just hard to grapple with your internal monologue. Um, and it's something I've, I've struggled with in the past. I think it's just, you just go to that place. Like if it's hard, you're telling yourself in your head, this is really tough. I, you know, I'm off pace or I'm struggling here and that's okay. But recently I've been trying really hard to twist what I'm saying in my head. Even if I feel like absolute dog, you know what? I try and twist it to put a positive spin on it because it really does help. My little mantra that I've got going in my head recently and today especially is I love the grind. And it just, if I just repeat that to myself in my head, I love the grind. It's like, I love being in pain. I love this hurt, like I love struggling. And obviously you don't, but who tell yourself that? Your mind is an incredible thing and your body will start to believe it. So I love the grind. Let's get comfortable being uncomfortable. Two more to go. Let's rip some truck. Hair's tickling me. <laughs> 503 again. Watch beat to 459. A few meters of full line. So. This track is long. <laughs> we'll take it. Consistency. Let's try and get this one quicker. We got five. Nice. 4.56 was the beep. And then five on the line. What the hell? Look at that. I saw it was like 31 degrees yesterday. It's like that drizzle rain that gets you absolutely soaked. Ah! Actually, you know the good thing though? Petricor. It was hot yesterday. Mm -mm. It's like over 30, so the ground's really dry. Mwah! I'll take the rain for the smell of petrichor. I love it. Where are we? <sighs> Land of the free. Hopefully, this is our last trip to Wix. That'd be nice. I've jinxed it now. What have you got? Um, no more nails and cork. Yes, what else have you got? Nothing. What happened? They don't have the picture rail that we need, that we need one more length of. So we're driving to the next wicks because we can't get enough. Time to do some more DIY. It's actually half past nine, so it's gonna be quick. I'm just gonna not stop the skirting boards so that we can paint them tomorrow. This is the stuff that stops the knots so that they don't come through and bleed all their knot juice everywhere after you've painted the skirting boards. Knots! Knots! 
Lots of knots. Such a stupid design. It's just stupid. How did you do that? No idea. Right. Well, don't put it back on. Whatever you do. Thanks. Where was I? Not stopper. Nuts. Not today. Not. <laughs> I need to stop. Butterfall. So apparently I'm an idiot and didn't realize that wood filler really shouldn't get on your skin and will take apparently half your life to clean it off. Uh, so I just spent an obscene amount of time Cleaning my hands to get the wood filler off after doing corners and a couple of holes in the door that we're going to paint tomorrow. But the knots have been stopped, so we can paint them tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go get some sleep. Had a long run tomorrow and then another day, hopefully, getting close to finishing this room and then the house will be nearly done. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself after that. It's gonna be good. Happy Sunday! It's DIY time again. Wow. Big man use drill. Big man is strong. <laughs> Renovating is slightly exhausting. And that's the understatement of the year. But it's good. We're getting there. Painted the skirting boards this morning. Painted the door as well with a little help from our friends. So thank you to Daniel's dad, Neil, and his brother, Philip, for coming around and helping with that. We're gonna try and get the handrail on. We don't really have the right screws or the right plugs, but we'll give it a go. I can't what are those? They're my sliders. They're not Crocs. I wish they were Crocs, but they're not. Performing monkey, you are. slip and you're walking down the stairs you're less likely to die <laughs> so the handrail is in just need to paint these little rustic looking metal bits and touch up a bit of the wall and clean the carpet from the brick dust so more jobs to do after we've done a job but this momentous occasion <laughs> done it again it is <laughs> nearly four o'clock and I'm just gonna get changed take my painty clothes off and get ready for the long run it's not ideal but I wanted to get stuff done in the house today and that's what we did and we're really close to finishing now so hopefully 
the last few evenings this week will be the finishing touches of the house and we will be actually done. I don't know what we're going to do with ourselves after this, but yeah. I'm going to go run now. That was hard, slash, well, meant to be easy. Easy run, done. 12.1 miles. There she is. 12.1 miles and 7.24 average. That was really hard today. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, because I left it until four o'clock to go, and I spent the rest of the day on my hands and knees painting. So yes, I do know why it was hard. Anyway, long run done. Now I'm gonna get a snack and then go to the gym before collapsing in a puddle on the floor. What are you doing? Uh, well, I got distracted because, um, actually, you asked me to help you move this unit back. Where are you meant to be? Into the corner of the room. I'm listen, I'm having a snack in a minute and going to the gym. But I got distracted because I found this lovely mug that you bought me that I broke and uh, it was just in the drawer with the super glue. So I'm fixing it. It's a nice mug and we don't have enough mugs at the moment. That's true. What are you meant to be doing right now though? Uh, helping you put the room back together. <clears throat> and then having a snack before I go to the gym. I'll go, this will take me two seconds. I can't do this one-handed. Literally always hungry. Absolutely beautiful. It is never not busy in there. Today I saw a kid doing uh, bicep curls with his rucksack on. Pure gym. Anything goes. Cannot complain coming back from a gym session to literally dinner on the table. I mean, wow, thank you so much. That's all right. This is needed. I'm starving. So now I shall eat. Okay. Latest feature in this room. The light changes. I'm being rude. I'm going to finish eating my Oreo ice cream and then I'll talk. Well, I am absolutely not no need. Long day, long run, tick, gym sesh, tick, tired filly, tick, tick, tick. Yeah, pretty knackered today. I think just combination of a tough session yesterday, a lot of physical, just, I don't know, painting. It's kind of tiring <laughs> being on my hands and knees and just, yeah, I should have got up earlier and done my run and gym this morning and then I could have been tired doing house stuff rather than tired doing my training, but said that a lot of times before and here I am. I'm sure this won't be the last time that I get out of my long run at four o'clock. I don't feel motivated every day and sometimes, yeah, you just gotta force yourself to get it done. And just keep reminding yourself that you love the grind because I love the grind. That has been in my head all weekend and I'm quite happy for it to stay there to be honest because it does get me out the door. So yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now. I hope you enjoyed whatever this video was. Weekend in the life, I guess. Coming along for whatever I get up to in the usual typical weekend. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe as always. I'm gonna go to bed, rest up and recharge for another week of Love in the Grind. Bye.
Love the grind. We love the grind. <laughs>